And now to health matters. Matters uh, concerning health has it that uh, members of the Joint Health Sector Unions and Assembly of Healthcare Professionals, Johesu, last Friday commenced a seven-day warning strike following the 15-day notice of industrial action issued to the federal government. The national chairman of the union, Kabiru Mirinjibir, listed some of its demands to include the immediate implementation of the consolidated health salary structure payment of a 25% review of its arrears from June to December 2023. Upward review of retirement aid to health workers, tax waiver on healthcare workers allowances, and the immediate payment of COVID-19 inducement hazard allowance, among other demands. The body is asking all its members across the country to comply with the directive. Well, to also speak on this, joining me, I do have Comrade Martin Egbanubi, National Secretary, Joint Health Sector Unions, uh, Johenshu. Uh, thank you so much uh, for being here this morning. Well, here again, another strike. Thank you. For uh, good. Uh, could you please elaborate on the core issues that have led to the decision to embark on this strike? Because it started to look like uh, we're having so much mentions about strike, 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 industrial action here and there. And are there specific demands that the government has failed to address? We'd like you to please um, point these out as we have this conversation. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Nils Central, for having me. Yes, uh, clearly the issue at stake had been an uh, issue that had been uh, uh, existing for a while now. Uh, specifically since 2014. Uh, the, the situation with us in the health sector is that of, uh, when we're talking about remuneration justice. And uh, we have, over time, advocated that any treatment of workers in the, in the health sector should reflect uh, the, the principle and the tenet of social justice. So in 2014, we had a trade dispute that was declared aftermath the adjustment of the consolidated uh, medical salary structure, which is a salary structure meant for uh, medical practitioners, which uh, I mean uh, uh, has become an issue. And the reason why it, be it becomes an issue is that uh, the collective bargaining agreement, which we refer to as CBA, that established the two salary structures in the health sector. Uh, prescribe that there must be an adjustment on the two simultaneously. One, in, 20, in 2009, there was uh, two salary structures established for health workers. The uh, COMES, which is a consolidated medical salary structure, like I said earlier, is for the uh, medical practitioner, the medical doctors. Then for other health workers, is consolidated health salary structure. So the collective bargaining agreement establishing these two salary structures uh, established the fact that whenever one is adjusted, the other should be adjusted. But at that time, the, the government at that time adjusted the commerce and uh, violated that principle of CBA, and they not adjusted the cohort. So since then, the headquarters in order the joint sector union. You know, uh, comprises of four registered unions. It used to be five registered unions. Okay, but now comprises of four registered unions. The Medical Health Workers Union, the Nigerian Union of Allied Professional, the Senior Staff Association of Universities, Teaching Hospital, uh, Research Institution, and other associated institutions, Southline, and then we have NASU, the Non Academic Staff Union uh, of University and Associated Institutions. So, these two, uh, I mean, these four registered bodies have advanced this issue of discrimination in this remuneration. That the, the adjustment that should be done on Congress since 2014 has not been done. So, over time, we have uh, engaged government severally. Between 19, uh, sorry, between 2014 to date, we have engaged government at different levels, at the level of ministry, department, and agency that are relevant to this struggle. And we have uh, conversed the principle of social justice to resolve this matter. Unfortunately, the successive administration in this country, even right from the administration of uh, President Goodluck Jonathan, had not sufficiently addressed this issue. So uh, the Buhari administration, too, pledged to address this issue, but they have not. So the current administration showed some, uh, I mean, goodwill in addressing this matter. 
Precisely on the uh, on the fifth of June, twenty twenty three, His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu Jisefaro invited the leadership of Joesu to the State House, and we discussed on it because then we declare an indefinite strike that snowballed into his administration. So he, he came on board and so he invited us that I want to address this issue. And he showed the, that, that commitment to address it by directing the relevant organs of government to, 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 to uh, negotiate with us on how to resolve it. But however, even before his administration, a report had been generated from what we call the high-level uh, body uh, of government is a committee comprises of ministry department and agency of government that are that are relevant to this matter. And a report has been generated. The report was to be presented at the last administration to the presidential committee on salary. But despite declaring a trade dispute on this matter, the administration did not address it. So this administration inherited this trade dispute. All right. So this administration let, showed let, that let, let me come in. Come since right. that 5th June, since that 5th June 2023, the, the, that issue has not been addressed. So we have a lot of correspondences with uh, this relevant MDAs to address this issue, but this has not been addressed. But also fundamentally speaking, we want to look at the other issues which are also are, are very damaging to us, like the, the, our workers at the regulatory. All right, Mr. Gunabi. I've been paid since January. But thank, I, I, th I think you've, um, you've actually done justice to the question indeed. Um, going further to break it down for us and um, hopefully uh, we'll get to hear what the government uh, would say in terms of responding uh, to this strike. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, thank you for your time.